let's go ahead and get started by downloading Snapchat's Lens Studio. Um, the easiest way to find it is just to type in Lens, L-E-N-S, Studio. Google search that and you will find a bunch of stuff. But Lens Studio by Snapchat right here. Um, let's go ahead and click on that link and it will take you to the actual website for Lens Studio. Um, it shows you a bunch of cool examples and all that jazz and you get to see what people are making and all that jazz and it tells you about the creators and all that jazz. There's so much jazz. <laughs> all of the jazz that you would ever want to jazz around with. All right, let's just go ahead and hit up that download link. They have versions for both Macintosh and Windows. They have um, some minimum requirements that they uh, suggest. I found that um, you can kind of get a little below these and it'll be fine, especially this 2.6 gigahertz or 2.5 gigahertz. You can get below that and it'll still work just fine. Um, that's for the processor. So you basically just need to say, I agree, I'm not a robot. You don't need to give them an email, which is really, really nice. Um, so you can just get started on your own. You can download for Mac or PC. I'm on a Windows PC, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit that bad boy right there. And I'm going to pause this while it downloads and get back to you once it's ready. So my download has completed. I use Chrome, so in the bottom here you'll see that. But it's likely going to download to your downloads folder. So you can go ahead and just navigate to your downloads folder. Um, there we go, Lens Studio. So I'm just going to double click to open it up and it's pretty easy and straightforward. It might require you to restart your computer, but that's probably the worst of it. Um, let's go ahead and X this out. I'm going to go ahead and minimize that. And there we go. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Guess what? I totally do. Yes. Um, and let's let it do its loading up thing. Just go ahead and go through. This is going to say where do you want to select or where do you want to actually make this folder where everything is safe to. The, the original or the root file on your program is good. It gives a good suggestion. Um, I'm going to say I'm going to check mark the create a desktop shortcut so I can just double click on a desktop shortcut. Click next. Click install. Let it do its Lens Studio thing. It's wonderful because it's completely free and Lens Studio just it lets you do a lot of really interesting and unique stuff. Um, people think of Snapchat as just being for face tracking or putting mustaches on people or little doggy ears, but it can do so much more these days and it's really great. So I'm going to go ahead and um, let's just wait. I'll just tell you, just talk, tell you about my day. Um, it's the morning, so I'm just getting started. I'm making these tutorials and uh, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and pause this while this installs. It might take a little bit, so give it some time to install. And I'm just about at the end of the install process here, so I'm coming back and saying hey again. And once this stops, once this finishes up installing, we'll finish up everything we need to do. And oh, it's there. It's almost there. It's so close. So very close. Get those redistributable packages in there and cool so when it's finished we can allow it to launch lens studio right off the bat so i'm going to go ahead and leave that checked and click the finish and it will actually open up lens studio let me go ahead and drag over it made it on the other monitor it made the shortcut so i just dragged it over to this monitor it looks like that normally all you need to do is sign in with that so um one of the things that uh, you do not need to have a Snapchat account to start making, but if you want to like publish and things like that, you do need to do that. So um, if you want to log in, if you can hit the login to my lenses with Snapchat, um, this is where you can create a Snapchat account. If you're making Snapchat Lens Studios, you might want to just download it and have it. Um, I do have an account, so I'm just going to log in to the digital sideshow at gmail.com. Um, but ch -ch 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 -ch, I'm not going to tell y'all my password. Oh, and it likes to do that thing where it's like, hey, um, let's make sure you're not a robot. There's all the crosswalks, I think. Verify. And connect to Lens Studio. I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. Continue. So as you can see, once you do that, I have my previously snaps that I've created, my lenses over here. I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to hit X. So, but now you can see that the digital sideshow is actually linked up. 
So this is kind of where the opening is. So you have your home, you can actually see a bunch of templates here. And these templates are great for getting you started. And in the next video, we're actually going to jump into a template and get working on stuff. But there's also things like documentation, and that can actually bring you to the website for Lens Studio with a lot of great getting started, face effects overviews, all of these tutorials to help you actually do what you want to do in here. So after we do our stuff, maybe you go ahead and you start playing around in here. But all right, go ahead and I'll X this out. Let's continue to the next video and we'll actually get started.